This video is directed towards Honey Nut, but I may or may not want to post it public, so we'll see. He said, can you teach me the high notes of Somnus? And, um, Somnus, uh, I did a violin cover of this before, but it was like a lower version. So I found a higher version on MuseScore. Like it looks, it looks kind of, it looks pretty legit to me. Like I listened to the real Somnus, like the official Somnus a while back. But I, before, my plan is to just do a violin cover of it and then learn the notes and then um, I'll be able to show, show you um, like maybe my approach or the fingerings I use, etc. So I actually just recorded, um, I just practiced and I recorded the this version that I found on MuseScore and um, it's this by Somnus Instrumental Version by Al Mithras so okay so I just um, let's just jump in so like I really appreciate how this person wrote the, the wrote like Boeings and stuff um, because not a lot of people do that when they write violin especially on music score but I'm not gonna use these Boeings because uh, because of the way it, it because of the way um it's gonna sound like like for example, like if I do down and up here, it's gonna like break it up. It's gonna be like. So, like, I kind of like imagined it like more slurred like this. Also, I really like that slide, so... But like, I overshoot it sometimes, so I have to... Sort of, that's why it took so long. <laughs> I gotta practice. just you know this is my hobby so usually I spend like you know like whatever amount of time I feel willing to practice but sometimes I can get pretty crazy like sometimes I can spend like five hours sometimes like eight hours just not like on one YouTube video and they're just for fun too so okay so let's go to the next part did I slur these? no I don't think so I think I separated these I thought about like I thought about doing like but I, I feel like that one sounded weird and usually when I um usually when I do a half step shift like a half step shift or slide I mean, usually when I do a shift or a slide, I, pre I prefer to do like half steps instead of whole steps because it's less risky. So like, for example, like if I 
if I ever see like that's like a whole step I would rather do that one previous I did this to imagine it first before I do it because like a really melodic piece like this um, you could just end up doing going like so like I, I try to like imagine it first and then and then I just try to do it as close to my imagination as possible so solo drops out and they just have like rest 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 I like that because I don't have to do anything and then and then I think the key Yeah, so it changed to 6A. So that means that means before before you were before like it feels like um one, two it, it felt like one, two, three, four, right? Now it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. So you have to like imagine the different. Like even though I'm going over here, I'm gonna go like But like on the inside, I have to feel like one, two, three, four, five, six, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six to like stay in time. So, all right, so. slide let me see I know I'll, usually I don't do like I try not to do um, whole step shifts but uh, in this case I kind of wanted to do that because I like the sound of it you, the sound the sound of it like usually takes priority over like um, convenience so if I like the sound of it, I'll try to go for it to see if I can do it. And then um, this one I thought it was a good idea because it kind of sounded good to go. And then I like I could reach the pinky. Uh, 
and this is it. This is like a simple piece. Oh, oh that was a tr that was a trick. Uh, I got thrown off there because um, hold. There's like a. I think I did this because I really like how that's. It's really weird, but I like how that slide sounds. So I did it. But like, yeah, practice. And those are some thoughts of when I was like learning it and um, that's it and I'll I already did a cover of it so I'm gonna be posting that